Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Digital Creations and in this premium pro tutorial you will learn how to create an awesome glitching text effect right inside of premium pro cc 2020 so let's get started hello everybody uh, let's create a tax glitch effect inside our premium pro cc 2020 and for this i'm going to create a tax layer so just select the tax tool from the toolbar and uh, Click here, I'm just going to write tax glitch and I'm gonna increase the size of this glitch. Um, let's take it center, just reduces. Align this tax. Okay, now guys, uh, check in the timeline and here. I'm just going to create, I'm just going to change the label of this. Uh. Okay, now let's little bit increase the video tracks. Okay, all right. Uh, now guys, first what we can do this, uh, just uh, create a tax layer and I write the tax here. And uh, now I'm going to uh, animate this tax, just create uh, just in uh, set the position and scale parameters here first to create a glitching tax effect so initially i'm just going to select this value to uh, let's say reduce the size and uh, increases okay and in the same position and uh, move the position a little bit down and uh, reduce the okay now guys uh, after this I'm just going to cut this layer and uh, here uh, just reset all uh, parameters and uh, I'm just going to delete this keyframes and I'm going to delete this Okay, now guys here uh, we add keyframes of uh, position and scale parameters to create a glitching effect and in the second uh, we cut it this uh, text layer here we just going to add uh, effect so just circa wave search video facts wave rock and drag and drop to in this track and uh, go to effects control and under the effects control you will see this uh, effect here and uh, under this wave wrap option you will change uh, the wave type to score and uh, let's move this uh, score and here i'm just going to change the direction to zero go and uh, just Just change the wave width and uh, let me show you this uh, and uh, the phase and on this. Okay, let's set the keyframe to all uh, these uh, here and uh, let's move uh, and uh, just cut it the layer from here and from this I'm just going to okay uh, let's duplicate this layer I'm just going to duplicate this layer just drop off this layer uh, from here like this here just duplicate this layer and here uh, in this layer uh, let me show you again okay now in this layer you just uh, delete the wave wrap uh, effect and uh, change the opacity to 50 percent and uh, move the tax upward the position of the tax a little bit upward here 
just and increase the scale the size a little bit little bit one time okay now move this position here and uh, now directional blur so simply uh, drag and drop this effect to and set, set uh, the parameters here so here i'm just going to search the directional blur so just initially you will see that we're going to increase the directional blur and at this point just cut it this layer and uh, set the keyframe just move one and uh, here i'm just going to change the position of this here and a uh, little bit scale out the tax and uh, the blur okay now after a few frames uh, i'm just going to cut this layer and uh, now just delete it and uh, let's play this okay now guys uh, after this uh, in this layer uh, we're just going to delete the wave wrap option and uh, now i'm going to create the rgb glitch effect so uh, let me show you render out uh, this clip Okay, this is a simple method to create a glitchy effect and now i am going to create a rgb glitch so let's duplicate this layer and uh, at the top of the layer just go to effects control panel and we can apply color rgb video effect this just drag and drop into first layer second track and in the third track okay now go to effects control and select the third uh, the third video track and third layer and here in the effects control panel you will see that uh, here and under the color by balance you can change the value of green to zero to create rgb click and uh, blue zero and select the second video tra track and here you will change uh, the value of red, green, and blue video effects to uh, red to zero and uh, blue to zero. And, uh, and in the third, we can change the green to zero and uh, red. Okay, now after this, for creating uh, the RGB glitch, so uh, just going to select this second video track and uh, just go to blending mode and select this blending mode to screen and select the third video track and go to blending mode and select the blending mode to screen and here you will uh, after this you just follow all these instruction what i uh, said and uh, minimize this track okay now after this uh now guys uh, let's change the label to show you uh this is uh, the glitch effect okay now here i'm just going to select this uh video track and uh, press video track and go to position and scale parameters and uh, just on this clock to add a keyframe and move few free frames and uh, set the position again and here in the middle of this uh, add a keyframe just to show you here move here and just here you you, you see this just move this position and uh, let's see let's create a add a keyframe to create a glitching effect okay now add a keyframe for scale as well now move keyframe here and uh, And 
okay now it is a nice uh, glitchy effect to create it and uh, after this you can uh, use the rotation parameters so i'm just going to select the initial value to zero and set the out point to add a keyframe and here in between we just add the rotation value to six to move it and after this we just set it to minus three and uh, now look at this this glitchy effect okay now i'm going to cut it uh, i'm going to render it to show you okay now guys this way you can you create a glitchy effect this rgb glitch and uh, now i'm going to cut this layers from i'm just going to delete this and now just uh, delete this uh, color rgb video effect from this layer to make it simple and now add uh, wave wrap effect again on this just drag and drop on this layer and uh, here i'm just going to go to effects control and under the effects control on this time i just select the wave type to noise and uh, i'm just going to add keyframes also uh, and uh, i'm just going to change uh, the direction to zero because i don't want to just increase the wave height to this uh, minus and the wave width and the wave speed move that keyframes and uh, increase the wave height and uh, decrease uh, the wave width and position let's move this okay now uh, i'm just going to change the position again uh, the wave height uh, wave height and okay now guys that's it and here after this uh I'm just going to increase it and uh, okay now this is uh, the nice glitching and uh, okay now just cut it this layer from here this point and uh, just move the playhead and uh, here I'm just going to delete the wave wrap effect and uh, go to position uh, and scale parameters and here i'm just going to set the value of this glitch to uh 25 and uh, increase it a little bit and uh, at that position keyframe and again decrease and uh, move uh, the position of this and then again add the keyframe and here set the value to zero the scale value and now i'm gonna render this and hit x on the keyboard and select uh, all in an out point and i'm gonna render this uh, uh, tags glitch effect okay now guys i will show you uh, uh i'm going to show you okay now guys i'm going to add uh, you can increase uh, the time duration and uh, so i'm going to add uh, glitch sound so here you will see that okay at this point we are the glitch and um. 
okay i'm going to reduce the go to effects control and reduce this uh, this keyframe make it short and uh, just cut it this layer see and uh, just all delete and now hit enter again now guys let's play again okay now guys this is very easy to create this kind of uh, glitchy effect inside our premiere pro now guys i hope you like this video don't forget to like subscribe uh, my channel digital creations and share my video thanks for watching digital creations Thank you.